you uh, say and spell your first and last name? Uh, Sheriff Darren Chambers, D-A-R-R-E-N-C-H-A-M-B-E-R-S. Okay. Do you have us kind of overview of kind of what happened today and what took place? Uh, about uh, 1.30, just before 1.30, uh, there were some fishermen or uh, floaters coming down the river, and they just uh, came across uh, a body and immediately called 911. We came out, and we did discover a body in the river. Uh, the only thing I can say is, is because of the condition of the body, we are not going to speculate on anything right now as to uh, how they, you know, passed away or as to uh, sex, anything of that nature, because of the condition. The condition of the body is, is obviously in this kind of heat. Uh, it doesn't take very long for, you know, somebody to, I guess you could say, uh, start deteriorating pretty quick in this weather. So we're not going to make any speculation. What we've done is we've, uh, I of course, reached out to the Forensic Science Center in Wichita, and we made arrangements with our coroner. And uh, we're going to take the body to the coroner uh, in Wichita and ask for an autopsy and see if maybe with the autopsy we can at least identify who the person is and uh, kind of go from there and uh, see what we have. Do you have an idea how long that person been in the water? Uh, I, again, I can't really speculate. I'm, I'm, I'm just guessing based on the condition. It's days. Okay, gotcha. What does it take to kind of track down a body floating in the river like this? I'm sure you had a lot of different cooperation with different Fire well, uh, of course, when we got the call, obviously, uh, the fire department has, you know, a rescue boat and things of that nature. We didn't have to put the boat in. Uh, they were able to get some uh, uh, firemen to have the, the outfits that they can put on to get into the water. And uh, basically, they just helped us to recover the body and, and bring it up. Uh, where the body was at in the water was a very steep embankment. And, it, you know, it took a little bit to, you know, get the body up. We had to put it into, a, obviously, a bag and, and then use that to help winch it up and get it up here. So, so the body wasn't found in a box. We had heard that a couple times. A gun safe. Yeah. A gun safe. Uh, that, at, at this point, that is going to be speculation. Okay. And, I, and I don't want to put that out yet. Uh, I mean, down the road, if more evidence comes up or something, uh, you know, we'll put that out. But right now, I don't want to say that that, that would be fact or not. Um, we're... Obviously, everything's going to be investigated and checked into and see, uh, you know, exactly what happened to this body. Hopefully, Forensic Science Center can answer those questions. We really just don't have much other than we've got a body. Was a box found as well? Well, there's a box over here. Uh, as to what role it played, we don't know. And that's why I don't want to say, mm -hmm. yes, in fact, this, this box played a role or didn't play a role when we really don't know. And so that's why I say I hate to speculate. Kind of like, why would I speculate on you know the cause of death when I don't know because of the condition of the body so uh, you know we're, we're gonna look at that obviously uh, because of the changing conditions in the water in the river uh, rather than trying to take photographs down in there we instead used a drone and did a, a complete videography of the river because obviously in six months from now it's gonna change and uh, you know the way the terrain is will be different so that way we can at least lock that down for how it was on this day how long did this whole operation risk operation take? Well, uh, obviously, we're right now we're just waiting for them to pick up the body. So, uh, close to four o'clock, started about 1.30. So, uh, that's kind of where we're at. And right. they, they were just fishing, you said? Well, they uh, originally I thought they said they sometimes what they do is they come down and they do like limb lines, fishing with limb lines, they float it. The Nisqual River actually isn't a navigable waterway. It's not like the Arkansas, so the property owner owns both sides or owns to the middle. You can't really float this river. <laughs> so a lot of times they may be floating it, but just tell us that they were just fishing or something of that nature. I think they were floating the river, but uh, you know, immediately upon finding you know the body, obviously they called us and stuck around and gave us their names and all that. So, all right. oh, somebody coming.